How you doing? I'm Chris, president of the South Florida Truck Club, and today Buddy is here who is the vice president of the South Florida Truck Club, and we want to kind of go over a few things about having a proper truck meet. Um, when you do a truck meet, there's a lot of things you have to take into account, and of course Buddy and I have done quite yep. a few over the years, and, and we had some wonderful meets, and uh, we gone to some that kind of it weren't that great. Not that good. Correct. And uh, we're just talking today, it's like, uh, there are people in our club and any other club, sometimes they're like, you know, what do we need to do to have a really good meet? So we kind of, Buddy and I, wrote down some bullet points, and um, uh, we're going to kind of go over this with you. One thing is location, um, and this is real important. Uh, if you're going to, like, on our meets, we might have up to 100 trucks show up. And, and keep in mind, if you've seen Buddy's truck, they don't even take one spot. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they think it's as big as a house, so he's going to take two spots. So a lot of our trucks are big, lifted trucks. So you have to make sure you have good parking. Uh, parking is so important, and we like to park where we can be seen. Right. I mean, I mean Buddy's truck is a very nice truck, and he has the lights, and we've, we kind of, you know, we spend big money on these trucks, so we want to show them off. So make sure wherever you're going, you have good parking. Now. And the most important thing when you go somewhere, of course, go ahead. What, what's the most important thing when you go to the location? The bathrooms. That's right. <laughs> you need to go sometimes. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, we've gone to, um, I don't want to mention names of it. They're just, you know, parking lot. Nothing else there. Just a parking lot. Yeah. And I tell you, you know, I don't know, we're grown men now. And it's like, you know, I don't want to do a tree if I don't have it. <laughs> and some people can't use a tree. So well, when you have women show up, they yes. don't want to use a tree. So yeah. it's... It's wherever wherever you choose, and it could be any spot, mm -hmm. as long as there's access to some of the things we're talking about here. Is is like you said, the parking enough, and that a group can park together. And then the main th after parking is, you know, if you're there for a little bit, eventually you got to go. Mm -hmm. So now another thing I like to go over, and I think that's uh, one of our, our favorite topics is uh, food and drink. Food and drinks. Uh, I know. I like to go, we, we go with Hooters and we go to a lot of restaurants and of course we want to be able to have a drink and uh, you know, a beer or soda, whatever it is, but um, you want to have something to do. <laughs> you want to be yeah. able to eat, drink, you want to walk around, you want to make sure you socialize, um, going into something to do, and this I find real important and we do this a lot, is entertainment. I mean, what do we got to do there? Now we'll bring stuff with us. We'll bring up uh, what's that game we do all the time? The cornhole, right? Cornhole, yeah. Yeah. And uh, what are some of the other things you would recommend for entertainment for meat? Um, there are th little things you can do. You can bring um, little cards. You can bring. Uh, uh, gee, I don't really know. Well, uh, I know for us, the, the drinking is part of the, the drinking. <laughs> <is one thing. laughs> now, speaking of drinking, okay, and we're gonna go over some do's and don'ts, or something you have to take into account. Yes. Now, now, if you're going to a restaurant and they serve an alcohol, they probably don't want you bringing your own alcohol. Now, I know, I know about Buddy, but I you know, brought you know some coolers and enough sodas yes. and beers, and and sometimes it's not a big deal. But sometimes, if you have talked to the restaurant, you got that permission to come there, and you're bringing the club, and and they're expecting you to spend some money with them, yes. and then you're in there drinking out of the back of your truck. Well, guess what? They might not let you come back again. Right. So it's it's fine to bring your own drinks, mm -hmm. your own snacks, which is always good because a lot of times it will will most of our not most but a, but a lot of our meats are at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, so we can you socialize really well when at, while you're eating. Mm -hmm. You know, so you will have two or three tables of people a lot of times, and then we'll we'll jump between tables and we're socializing. But when we get done, we usually go outside. Mm -hmm. So this is where the location and the parking comes in because if we can get a parking that's not in front of that restaurant that we're in, mm -hmm. we're in a separate parking lot, now we can have that beer from our cooler. We've paid our money to the location. That's right. You, know, you want to spend, spend some money. money. You gotta um, spend a little money with wherever you're going. Um, because the simple fact, the reason they let us come there is to is make money. <laughs> right. So we're a group, yeah. and, and yeah. most almost every place that we've been, they've invited us back. Mm -hmm. They've given us discounts mm -hmm. because we showed up in more than just two or three people. Yeah. You yeah. know, we've brought attention to their establishment, so you know we might get a ten percent discount mm -hmm. off of drinks or yeah. the food or or the whole bill, whatever. And this is where, if you find a location, and Buddy's real good at this. He'll call them up and say, hey, I'm bringing 75 people, right. 100 trucks, whatever it is. What can you do for us? Right. 
And, you know, Buddy will sit there. He'll get us a discount. He'll get us something. I mean, we went to, what was that, Roundup? We, we didn't pay for the, we didn't right. pay no cover. We no got a first feed. drink for first free. Drink, first drink free. You know, so, you know, if you go to restaurants, we'll get a discount. If, but if you don't ask, you don't get it. You don't get it. And Buddy's real good. He'll pick up the phone and say, hey, you were coming here. I'm the vice president. What can you do for us? Yes. And that's real important. Uh, Tax and Tacos, they always take give us yes. discount on the bill. Yeah. And uh, it's actually a very nice place. I love going there. Um, now, this is part of another thing. When call for that permission. That's when you ask for it. Make sure you can do it. Make sure you get the discount. Uh, also, what you don't want to do, and <laughs> sometimes you're having a few drinks, and you, you get in that truck, and you just want to just rev that engine and peel out and... You don't want to do that uh, because you might get banned. <laughs> you might yeah. the, the restaurant say, you know what, we don't because our trucks are not exactly quiet. I mean, I mean, the most of them are pretty loud, and it doesn't take much to make a nice sound yeah. and everything. So you have to be respectful to where you're at. Because we, so. I mean, some of these places we go back to. Mm -hmm. So we, you yeah. know, if if you're doing burnouts, mm -hmm. you're, you're you're cranking your radio to the extreme, uh, you're showing off. That, that gets not just that person banned, but the whole club banned. Mm -hmm. And we don't want the club banned because if it's a, if a spot that we like and they do take care of us, we don't want to disrespect them by doing the burnouts, mm -hmm. doing, you know, making noise. Uh, we want to be respectful of the, of the spot that we're at mm -hmm. and hopefully, to, you know, get an invite to come back again. And there are some places, Tats and Tacos, Hooters mm -hmm. in um, Fort Lauderdale, uh, they're more than happy to host us whenever we ask but we always say hey listen um we're going to come in on on next saturday uh is that fine and they'll say yes or no you know so and it's, make sure they're reserving parking for you as well yes uh, and that's real important because sometimes you'll go there and here we are with 75 trucks we just convoyed up there together and they didn't reserve the parking because someone forgot to ask yes uh another thing is a lot of our members uh want to bring their family so you got to make sure when you're promoting your event is it family friendly? Yes. Uh, is, can you bring the kids? I mean, is it a, a bar where we're just going to go and hang out, which is not for kids? Or it's a nice restaurant where the kids can come? Or, or you know, like we went to a, that ice cream shop. Remember that? Yes. One in uh, Carl Springs. That yes. was great. And wonderful family event. And uh, the guy who owns it actually is a member of the club. So, And also, if you have guys who are members of the club or ladies and they have a business, try to promote at their business. Try yes. to do a meet at their business. They are members of the club. Let's do something to promote their, their business. And, uh, you know, here at CNH, we do a lot of meets here. We have done meets, uh, again, at the ice cream parlor yeah. and a few other places that the members are, you know, part of our group. Uh, let's see, what else here? Other clubs. Now, this is a, a question, and, and he know you know I'm talking about other clubs. Yes. Uh, I know we are totally okay with other clubs joining us. We, we invite any other truck clubs or even Jeep clubs. Um, now, sometimes if someone else from another club is having a meet, they may not want you to be there. And we had, unfortunately, have dealt with that in the past. Yes. And uh, so you have to let it know if you're promoting this, other clubs are welcome, or is if it's a private thing. You know, and that's got to be notified. You know, like we use Facebook for, for this as well. So that's something we need to do. Yeah, make yeah I mean, it's up. always great to, to work with other clubs. Mm -hmm. um, we've worked with the, uh, the, the Ford F-150s. Uh, there's a, they've branched off and have intercoastal Fords now. Mm -hmm. We've worked, uh, of course, with the Tundra Crew, the mm -hmm. Florida Tundra Crew. Um, Southeast uh, Toyota Club. Southeast Toyota Club, mm -hmm. which is for, you know, all, all Toyota brand club. Um, so, oh, that, 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 of course, the, uh, was it the Florida Ram Truck Club? Right? The Florida Ram Truck Club. So, yeah. I mean, we, we work with other clubs in the area. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we cross promote most of the time. Um, but there are times when, hey, I just want to hang out with my friends in the club. Mm -hmm. So there's a it's a club only meet, mm -hmm. um, or you want you just want to hang out with whoever's going to show up, and when you invite other clubs, then you get more people. Mm -hmm. More people means sometimes more fun. Yes. So that's fine, um, but you know know what you're when you when you're going through your list of your location and all this other stuff we've talked about is do we want to invite anybody else or is somebody else is having a meet. Um, and you want to go, which is fine. You can you can go to any meet you want. Do you want to invite? Is that invite open for just you or for the club? And you want to invite this club to go to some other club. Now, once again, we've gone to a few other clubs. 
not the greatest meats. <laughs> We've gone to some other clubs yeah. and had some good meats. Yes. So, I mean, you, there's, there's that chance you take, but that's the other thing you need to think about when you're planning an event. Do you want to uh, invite other clubs? Now, if it's your first time that you're wanting to create an event, probably just keep it club this club oriented. Mm -hmm. And then from there, if, if it, everything works out good and you want to keep going, more than happy. Now, and this is something I want to bring up that you and I've talked about. With our club, you know, generally, you know, um, Buddy, Sandy, or myself, we're, we're basically the, the three people who set up the meets. Now, we let anyone in the club throw a meet. Yep. Uh, and the reason we're doing this video is, is give them ideas what you should expect at the meets. Like, for example, if you're going to be someone who's um, not part of the, you know, the staff and you want to throw a meet, that's okay. But just remember a couple things. <laughs> like, go ahead and back being on time, right? <laughs> yeah, um, it, if if you're part, whether you created the event, it suggested the event, um, or anything you have to say in the event, you're part of the event. So you should also be part of the beginning of the event, which means showing up on time. Now, or early. <laughs> the, the, here's the on time. Yeah. On time is if it's if you set the event up for seven o'clock. You should be there no later than 6:45, mm -hmm. and that is so you can direct people coming in. Mm -hmm. You can talk with the establishment, um, or make sure the food truck. If you're in a parking lot or in a spot that doesn't have food, you we've you know a food truck. Make sure the food truck guy's there. If he's not there, get him on the phone. You know, so you're 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 part of the process of getting the event rolling and making sure it's 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 a good event. So you should. On time is always early. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I always try to get to anything that I uh, am unofficially a part of, and sometimes unofficially, 